Here's an example of how to determine the volume of a truncated cone. So your first step, you're going to envision a small cone being on top of this truncated cone. So doing so results in a pair of similar triangles. The first is this yellow one on the small cone. So that base is 4 and the height is unknown. I'm going to call it x. Then the large triangle that is similar to the yellow one has a base of 10 and a height of x plus 8. So from here, using those similar triangles, we could set up a proportion. So again, in the small yellow triangle, we had 4 and x. And in the large blue triangle that's similar to the yellow, we have 10 for the base, and the height is x plus 8. So this is a proportion. I'm going to solve this proportion for x, so I will then know the heights of the two cones. So when you solve a proportion, you know you cross multiply. You take the one diagonal and you multiply those, and then you take the other diagonal and you set that equal to the product. So here we're going to have 4 times x plus 8 on the one diagonal, the other one 10x. From here, you have multiplication. You have parentheses. So multiply 4 times x, 4 times 8. So you're going to have 4x plus 32. Solve this equation. Subtract 4x from both sides. 10x minus 4x is 6x. The 4x is canceled. Bring down your 32. And then divide both sides by 6. Doing so results in x is equal to 5 and a third. You could either use a mixed number, or if you prefer, you could use 5.3. So we therefore know the height of the small cone is 5.3. The height of the large cone is 8 plus 5.3, which is 13.3. So from here, I'm going to start working with volumes. To find the volume of that truncated cone, what you could do is find the volume of the large cone and subtract the volume of the small cone from it. So I'm going to first recall the volume formula for a cone. It's 1 third times pi times radius squared times the height. So again, I'm going to start with the volume of the large cone. I'm going to put that here. And then I'm going to subtract away the volume of the small cone. And I'm going to put that expression here. And then I'm going to use a calculator and calculate the answer. So let's start with that small, or sorry, the large cone. On the large cone, the formula goes 1 third times pi What's the radius of that large cone? 10. So you have 10 squared times its height. For the height of the large cone, you're using that 8 plus 5.3, so it's 13.3. And then, then again, we're subtracting. Now find the volume of the small cone. So you have 1 third times pi times the radius squared. The radius is 4, so you have 4 squared times the height, which is 5.3. From here, I'm going to go straight to my calculator. I'm going to type in this whole entire expression. So we have 1 third times pi times 10 squared times 13.3. And then you're going to subtract away 1 third times pi times 4 squared times 5.3. Doing so gives you the following number. Um, and just a heads up, the pi symbol is just a number, a symbol on the calculator. You end up getting 1,303.97.